Uh, where we're going to do head-to-head, -head, we're bringing that back, and uh, Farrow's going to give the rules where we're going to put the American Dream against Cody Rhodes. I, I love how I've got the rules memorized by now, according to you, which is interesting. You but do. You've luckily got, you got for, luckily trap for, mine. Luckily for you folks, I actually can't remember my name today. All right, category number one will be Mike Skills. How good are you on that old stick? You keep me engaged, do you keep me running to the bathroom with the runs because your promo sucks? Yep. Category one, Mike Skills. Category number two will be Matt Skills. You're going to give me a good old-fashioned Donnybrook, or are you going to actually show me you know what you're doing in there? Hey, if you do the Donnybrook right, maybe you do know what you're doing in there. Do you tell a good story in the ring? Can you wrestle? That's category number two, Matt Skills. Category number three, the it factor. Are you Terry Bollea, a.k.a. Hulk Hogan, or are you... Give me a scrub. Uh, Steve Lombardi. Steve? The Brooklyn Brawler? Yeah. Yeah. Are you Steve Lombardi before he becomes the Brooklyn Brawler? Do you have, <laughs> do you have any it factor? All right. Category number four, my personal favorite, Z-Back of Z-Baseball card. What kind of championships have you won? You got, you got a Royal Rumble in there for me? You got a Money in the Bank in there for me? You got anything? Have you won something in Puerto Rico, for God's sakes? Give me something. What's on the back of your baseball card? Category number five, the fifth and final category, the impact on the industry. What have you done? Have you done what Vince McMahon has done, or do you just cut big checks like phony baloney Tony? Wow. There it is, folks. The five categories for head to head. Who do we got today? You're putting the speaking of family, you're putting family I'm against each other. Putting family against family. Boy, oh boy. Never I turn on your father, huh? Th yeah. Uh, there you yeah, go. put the put the family against each other, huh? Well, I could have put Bandito against Dusty Rhodes. Could have put Bandito against the empty Doritos bag. All right, so Dusty Rhodes and Cody Rhodes. Yeah. This is rough. All right. Uh well, Dusty Rhodes. Uh, oh, you're throwing up Cody for sure. We'll do that. Uh C Cody Rhodes. Well, Almost incomplete right now. I mean, he's had, he had Stardust gets a bad rap, but I mean, geez, Cody was at the Continental Champion. I mean, he's done done some things in this business. He obviously started up AEW. His return to WWE has been nothing but main event feel. Unfortunately, cut short by the injury. Cody Rhodes, for a guy who left WWE, it's fair to say he has had a hell of an impact on the business mm. of professional wrestling since he left. And I do think they underestimated him. That's fair. You know, uh, of course, Cody is going up against his father, the great American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Now, this guy's done everything, basically, uh, outside of main event at WrestleMania. You ever, ever think about that? Dusty Rhodes never main evented at WrestleMania. No, but I mean, he wasn't a WWE guy. But he right? did. He was a main event Starcade guy, obviously. Absolutely, he's, a, yeah. he's, a, he's a legend, folks. He's, well, again, if you're you the know, booker. Yeah, that's true. Oh, put myself in there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Ver Sapphire. Yeah, Dusty Rhodes, one of the all time greats, former world champion, uh, you know, Starcade, great booker, obviously. Uh, just a huge impact on this industry, one of the biggest names of his time. So, we begin. Mike Skills, <laughs> Cody Rhodes, who's okay at talking, versus the greatest. And Cody Rhodes has had some good little speeches. He's, good, he's good at talking, except there's one problem. He's up against his father, the great one of the greatest top five talkers in the history of this business. He's top five. He's one of the greatest top talkers in the history of this business. Yeah. Dusty Rhodes. Did you show the polka dots? Did you, is, show, yeah. did you show the polka dots? This man got this gimmick over. He did? With his mouth. For he God's did. sakes, this is the great one of the greatest talkers ever. Uh, sorry, Cody. Uh, Dad has just lambasted you. You're, you're, that's one for Dusty, none for Cody. Can't argue uh, that one. All right, very good. Matt Skills. Well, here's where Cody gets one back. Mm. Oh, come on now. Stop it. Don't tell me that Dusty Rhodes is a better in-ring He's a better in-ring storyteller than his son, but he's not a better Isn't technical. Isn't that part of it, though? It, it is, but at the end of the day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to judge this on your moveset and stuff like that. And I feel that Cody has more of an arsenal than Dusty Rhodes. All right, I'm going to go with you on that. That's fine. Yeah. One, one. Did he tell a better story in the ring? Than you know, quite honestly, that last match with Rollins with the injury, yeah, he told a, match, pretty, pretty told, told a pretty good story. One match. But, again... I'm still going to give him the mat skills. I'm sorry, folks. But uh, Dusty was, you know, elbows, punches, and kicks for the most part. And not that there's anything wrong with that, because there wasn't. Okay, so it's it's a draw right now. Uh, 
Is the it factor next there, Spidey? We're going to go yep. with the it factor? it factor? All right. Uh, Well, that's another one for Dad. Dad's got more it factor than, than son. I'm not disagreeing with you. I was yeah. just thinking. Yeah. I mean, one way or the other. It's kind of a blowout on that, it's, for it's, sure. Yeah, it is. I, it it is. Even about, I shouldn't I, even have thought it's about It's not it. even close. Uh, Dusty Rhodes had such amazing charisma and could match it on the mic. I'm, uh, again, I'm going to give the in-ring skill set to Cody because I, that's just responsible, I think. <laughs> Being responsible in a wrestling fucking. <laughs> but it is what it is. So uh, right now we've got Pop ahead 2-1. to one. The back of the baseball card, once again, Pop wins. Pop oh, yeah. sealed up this competition. Pop's already talking. Yeah, Pop's already taking this. I mean, Cody Rhodes will probably be a world champion when before things are all said and done. And, he, and I do believe the greatest moment of his career is yet to happen. It will happen, I believe. But, uh, yeah, this goes to uh, Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream. He's up 3-1. to one. And what's the final one we got? The impact on the industry. So, uh, oh, shit. Shit. It's a blowout. It's just like Dad wins again. Dad wins again. But I'll give Cody credit for what he did with AEW. But Dad has to win. Dad, Dad came up with so many ideas over the years and, and shaped and trained so many and NXT the development of the training now I gotta give it to this Pop. actually this actually is a lot easier than I thought it yeah. would yeah I mean outside of the fact that Cody knows some more moves to match the modern era even in that Dusty was a better in ring storyteller because Dusty just got so much emotion out of people yep technically four to one for me for Dusty and uh, that was a landslide I want to remind everybody, we had Maven on uh, about an hour ago, so if you missed it, catch it. It was an excellent interview. Um, after this show, 